In the previous video, we discussed the maximum expected utility principle when dealing with limited harm situations. I mentioned that the theory is relatively simple, but in real life, there are some issues we need to be aware of, such as quantifying the utility of decisions. We may need to practice this to get the hang of it. The other issue was the sunk cost fallacy, which is when you dwell too much on events that have already happened and let them cloud your judgment for future decisions. Here, I would like to talk about a different method for decision making that can be used when the expected utility method is not easy to apply. Let's start with an example. Suppose I want to go and buy five t-shirts. I could go to several stores and look at all the brands of t-shirts, write down the pros and cons and compare them. But that would be extremely inefficient and a waste of time. Instead, I could do what is called satisficing, which is a combination of the words satisfy and suffice. The idea here is that you set a requirement. In this case, for my t-shirt, it would be things like the right size, a color I would like, and a cost of under $20 each. Now, when I go to the mall, I buy shirts that fit those criteria as soon as I find them, and then I stop shopping. The basic concept here is to search only until you find something that is good enough. It is important to note that satisficing is only applicable to situations wherein harm is limited. I myself use this method a lot and I am very happy with the decisions I have made using this method. In fact, it has been shown that people who satisfy are happier with their lives than those who try to maximize everything. They have more time to do other things and they tend to suffer less frequently from buyer's remorse. They don't spend time wishing they had bought the other t-shirt, for example, because in this example, there was no other t-shirt. Satisficing might not achieve the exact maximum expected value or utility, but the time and effort you are saving is invaluable. There is so much uncertainty and randomness in the world anyway, that no one can truly be a perfect maximizer and pick the right option every single time. There are many situations in life where this concept can be very useful. Let's look at this issue from a different perspective. Suppose somebody tosses a coin and the outcome is either heads or tails. The person tossing the coin has you predict the outcome. And if you are right, you are given one million dollars. If you are wrong, you don't get any money. Now, obviously this is not a practical scenario, but it proves a good point. This decision could end up being a very important decision in your life because you could potentially win one million dollars. But would you spend hours or days deciding whether to pick heads or tails? Of course not, because there is no way you could improve your odds of winning in this case. In many situations in life, you can only think about your decision so much. After a point, it does not help to put any more effort into deciding something. It's much better to save your time and mental energy. To summarize, while the maximum expected utility method is useful in some low-risk scenarios, sometimes satisficing is even better. It helps you to minimize the time you spend making decisions, leaving you more time and mental energy for the more important things in life. This all boils down to the concept of simplicity that we discussed previously in this course. Life is often much more complicated than it needs to be, but these are all ways to have a simpler and happier life in general.